News 3 starts right now. All right, news that caused some pause in our community. MGM Resort says it's not responsible for Las Vegas' darkest hour. Good evening. Thanks for watching. I'm Reed Cowan. And I'm Jim Snyder. The company that owns Mandalay Bay filing federal lawsuits against more than a thousand victims of the 1 October shooting. With our top story tonight, News 3's Kelsey Thomas is live to explain the casino giant says a Nevada law is on its side. Well, Jim, what this is, broad picture, according to legal experts, is a legal Hail Mary. MGA, MGM saying it is not liable for what happened on 1 October. One of the hardest things I've ever had to go through. Craig Link thinks of his brother every day. It's been nine months since a bullet fired from the 32nd floor of Mandalay Bay killed Victor. This is something that uh, nobody that ever probably was in the hotel business uh, ever imagined happening, and yet at the same time, it happened. MGM Resorts, which owns Mandalay Bay, has filed federal lawsuits against a thousand one October shooting victims. Attorney Robert Eglett represents some of them. In more than 30 years of practice, this is the most reprehensible conduct I've ever seen by a defendant. MGM arguing it isn't liable because the mass shooting was an act of terrorism and the security company MGM hired for the Route 91 festival was certified by Homeland Security. The company says it's protected by a 2002 statute passed by the federal government after 9-11. These private security companies who go through this certification process get and they are engaged in this type of, they're engaged in providing security. Um, they have immunity, certain immunities from being sued, not a hotel casino who had nothing to do with hiring the security company. In a statement to News 3, MGM says in part, quote, years of drawn out litigation and hearings are not in the best interest of the victims, the community and those still healing. That is the biggest, fattest lie I've ever heard. As for Craig, he says there is no closure after losing a brother. Not ever going to be and you can read MGM's full statement on our website, news3lv.com. It is important to note that the FBI has not ruled this shooting an act of terrorism. That's because police say there is still no motive. Twitter was also fired up over all of this today. At one point, Boycott Mandalay Bay was trending on Twitter. Reporting live tonight outside Mandalay Bay, Kelsey Thomas, News 3. All right, Kelsey, thank you for that. This is going to be a long legal process ahead. So as this lawsuit and many others make their way through the courts, we will continue to update you on that information both here on the air and online. A local